Hello and welcome back to Barley Spring. As you can see at the top right there it said two pound brought in from animals sold. Have the chickens gone? Oh they have done, they've gone over their limit and we had a milk sale uh, of 8,000 so it's basically we've made a bit of profit but yeah not too much on that just yet with the lease and all that. Look at all of them. Right we should have a look. Let's see. So this is what we have. So many. Right. Can we sell? Ooh, a few of them potentially. Six months. So that's the that's the time. So we're gonna sell. Is there just one? One of you? Oh, there is. Duck male. Two pound. I wonder if they get any. I haven't really looked at these too much. Yes, yeah, so you've got these. Once they hit uh, six months, then we'll sell them. Actually, what we could do is sell our original one, so these two, and then have the young in come in and I don't know how how they sell. I don't know. I don't know much about that. The overcrowding option is there as well. Um, let's see. See allow overcrowding. So if we do that, then prevent overcrowding because currently oh that might you know what that does it sells automatically I reckon so we don't want to do that we want to sell what we want to sell ourselves and it turns out that it might be right we will have to so let's open this up can we sell from here right so let's go to two pound roosters and select how many have we got 17 all right, so we'll sell for 17 pounds. That's all right. Uh, these ones here, how many have we got of them? Just the one. Oh, right, that's the original one. We will sell for the one pound. Now we've got a bit more room. However, is there any others? No, duck, male. Right, I suppose. Where's the other ducks? That's zero, zero six months right but I have to check is there a livestock trailer that can in fact this is the wrong category there we go no there isn't there, there have seen some modded ones but I thought there might be one specifically uh, for the map as well anyways well that is somewhat sorted uh, they will probably sell automatically next time but I would like to sell as many of these ones as I can to make room for uh, for more females really for more one for ones that are gonna lay actual eggs All right rooster male you're not ready right okay that's fine for now we'll, we'll leave that uh, let's have a look at the cows as well uh, they are bloody Nora they're completely out they're completely out of food and they are grazing and they are almost out of food blimey okay we really have to crack on with that uh, we will have silage today actually yeah we should at least get them you know what potentially what we could do is bring them over to the pasture so they can graze a bit but I've noticed this number's gone down as well so because they are Holsteins now they're not Right, let's have a look at this pasture. Where is... There we are. 500, blimey. Okay, we've got loads there. So, what? there's so much to do. Right, I reckon if we buy that uh, little cane... Actually, that's what we'll do. Because we'll lead them out to pasture and enjoy some lovely, lovely... Uh, fresh air out there so let's go find that I believe it's here actually misc there we are animal cane what a <laughs> fantastic mod as it falls down so we'll buy it and now it would be at the shop right so we will sort maybe we'll have somebody deliver it for us ah right okay we'll see you at the farm in a minute Right, so believe it or not, we actually have to go down to the shop to collect it. I thought I could be a bit cheeky and get it up here quicker, but unfortunately we have to bring it ourselves. So what I'll do, do we need that? 
I don't think we do. I don't think we need the, the cultivator anymore. So I'm going to sell that immediately. Um, and what we're going to do as well, because we are going to bring the trailer down. I suppose we could just do it ourselves here anyways. But I do want to add the extra, like the silage capacity for our trailer. Because we will be using it uh, for silage. And as well, when we sell our extra silage, it would be good to have as well. But just before we do that, and before I forget, because I did want to do this before, we will set this down to get it switched over to work with a telehandler, because we will set up the uh, <laughs> the Merlot to deal with the bales. So for now, I'm just going to tuck the front loader in here. We will take the Massey to the shop, and we'll get it hooked up to the West Trailer, because the West Trailer does have a, a silage body option. I believe it increases the now 12,000 up to 22,000, uh, if I remember correctly. But yes, we will have to check that. If there's a trailer that's cheaper with the attack with the the difference, then we might do that. But just before we leave, all right, just gonna get this put here. I know the cows need food as well. Blimey, we we do have to hurry. No no faffing about. We'll do this when we get back. We are we are faffing now. Really need to get to the shop. So we'll see you. We'll see you at the shop, and we'll get our cane put in the west trailer. Right, we've made it to the shop, and the cane is right there. So we will collect that in just a second. But first, just going to sell the horse Toronto. So that's fantastic. We'll get it repaired. We just don't need it anymore. Uh, we're not going to do any cultivating. It does hurt our score. Uh, when we, well, for environmental score at least. So we don't want to do that. Right, we will head over to the cane, collect it. Uh, but before we put, actually yes, before we put it in, I'm going to very quickly put the trailer back in because I did forget I wanted to do this. So I want to see, we'll just repair it very quickly. I want to see if we upgrade to the silage by 8,000 pounds. Right, so that would give us 22.2 from 12.9, which is not bad. But, how much can we sell it for? 8,572. So, 16,000. If we can buy a new trailer for 16,000 with silage body, then we might do that. Marston? Oh, hello. 19.5? And an even, that's massive though, I think that's a bit too high, if anything. Yeah, I think that's mental, that. Maybe just like that, 27 is still much more. Oh, that's the next upgrade. 17.5, that's pretty close to uh, to the price of ours, and it would match our trailer. So that's an option. Uh, the other thing I need to consider is the fact that, once the, if we do sell it, why has my money just changed? Did it go up or down? I just saw a change. That's very strange. £12 vehicle running costs, perhaps. Here we water. Oh, that might have been the water cost. That's what it was. Right, so we've got 8572 and that upgrade is 8000 for 22. It makes sense to go with the Marston trailer, even though my plan was to probably use those trailers in the next series as well. Um, let's see, what else can we do? 16.5. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But the other thing is, maybe we don't need a new trailer. We just need to upgrade the one we have. Although this would actually work out much better, I reckon. Because we're not going to really be doing any crop work, are we? Oh yes, we do have the canola still. I don't want to buy a whole new trailer. We really need to figure that out. What are we going to do? I think it would be best to have a trailer that we can interchange. Uh, this one here allows us to go up to 21.9 for 15. That's somehow even more. Oh, at the back it's more. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Right. Well, I think... Oh, hello. That's 22.7... Oh, it's more than we want to pay. Well, I think... I think what we'll do for this time around is we'll just upgrade the trailer we have. 
because we do own it and there's no faffing about with needing to change anything we can always revert back when we do harvests and uh, yeah so all of that was just to upgrade it anyways hello look at that right but this is the sort of thing as well that I do like to share when I'm when I'm playing the game essentially is to share the thought process of what is the best course of action for the farm and uh, it might not have been to just upgrade just our trailer but really I do like this trailer actually it's quite nice so the reason I've upgraded it now oh bloody Nora oh has it gone in oh what a goal hang on oh no it's not what Oh my goodness. Right. Alright, as you can see we <laughs> we're back at the farm. Because uh, I decided I should swap tractors around if I'm going to carry even more uh, beet pulp. And getting this out of the trailer was an absolute nightmare. I highly recommend a flatbed if you're going to do it. Uh, right, so. And it did end up flying across the map at one point also. Let's very carefully... Uh, bring all of our heifers over to the trailer uh, we'll take the lot of you oh. and then we'll take I uh, don't know why these didn't come with the original five but that's fine so now in my lizard trailer I've got I've got my cows so we're gonna run down because you can't move very much with this so I'm gonna be very careful when we move and I'll run all the way down to our other other pasture for cows. So I, I know I'm getting beet pulp, but they really don't have any food. So at the very least, I can put them into the crop here. Oh, is my wheat ready to uh, forage? It must be. Oh, very exciting. Right, yes, I can put them in with the other calves. Oh, I've left the gate open. None have escaped. Sorry, they're not calves anymore. They are very much so full-on Holsteins. What we're going to do is we'll take... Right, how do I... Do it with the... I don't want to lose my cows are in there. Animal dialogue. So these are what I have in here. These are from the animal dealer. I do not want to do that. Is there a separate... Right. Where are we at here? Interactive zones. This is the only one. Ah, beautiful. So we'll go like that and put all ten. I thought something was being a bit funny there. Wonderful. So now there's even more cows in there. There's 35. And those same 35 will be brought back over uh, to there. I wonder if it's safe to keep this here then. Ooh, that's very scary. I, I think I will. I think I will. I think I'll put it... I think I'll put it right there. Oh my. I'm just hoping that's fine. That That's where I'll keep it. Let's hope that <laughs> when, we, when we return, it's still there. Right, so let's just hop back to the farm very quickly. Right, we need to sort that out now. So we'll go over here. This episode is very much so getting things sorted, uh, as you can tell. Uh... Right, we'll do this first since we are here. So we'll get a quick uh, bucket load, or two or three, or the rest of all of this, into their trough. Because this silage, I'm, I must have done something incorrectly so that I couldn't actually uh, use this silage in the mixer. And I've read the guide and checked it over, and uh, grass silage, maybe I have a different one. I have silage grass. I think it's different, I don't know, not 100% certain. But at least now, we can get this in and ready, uh, ready the pit up for some new silage. Well, it'll be uh, whole crop. Oh yes, let's, speaking of, let's check. Really bouncing all over the place for this episode, but it's just good. We, we're getting a lot started. We're getting a lot uh, closer to, I suppose, the... Ooh, hello. You are. Maybe it's not ready. Oh, oh, that's no good. 
It says growth stage 6 of 7. I think it will say when it's ready to be foraged. Because this, it says ready to harvest. And it, it doesn't say anything about foraging. But it did say the state before that it could be foraged. Hmm. No, I think it'll be June. I reckon at this point now it will be June before we actually start uh, forage harvesting. So that's fine. Uh, at least we know when, at least we know now for sure when we're going to do it. That is June. So this May uh, we will be able to feed the cows. We'll get all of them sorted. Uh, it's going to be very good. Oh my god, I've lost my wheels. The wheels on the telehandler have disappeared. Right, I will put this into a time lapse, and then maybe in that same time lapse, I will swap over the attachment for the bales, the bale spike attachment, and uh, get some bales put in there as well. Possibly those five that are there, just to be cheeky, uh, so I don't have to put them away. Um, and then we can head down to the beet pulp sales point, uh, in which we can get some beet pulp and at least get three of four categories filled up for the cows. Well, I really couldn't not say anything about that. That is impressive. That was that little last bit brought it to 100% full. That's pretty wild, that, I'll be honest. Right, well, we get that last bit in. Oh, as we stay there, let's have a look at how much we got now for the cows. Nothing. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, no, you can't see it. Oh, blimey. That's fine. We can... There we go. They have 23,428. Right, that's pretty good. So this... Right, it would be nice to see. So that means they've got 40... Sorry, 23-something base food. Which means they need only a few bales of hay. Probably, I would say, I would say three would suffice. And then... Uh, only about 20, well, really less than 20-some thousand, but we can put the beets into a pile at least and put them somewhere nearby. Uh, we don't need to fill it straight away. I want to keep it uh, keep it for when we need it, I suppose, but maybe we will dump the whole thing in. We shall see. Actually, I don't know how I'm going to dump with this trailer now. Might not, uh, might not work out quite so nicely. Hmm. Right. Very quickly head over here. Won't be able to attach to it yet. But in just a second we shall be. Oh, blimey. Oh no, I need to customize this. I was going to say I can't customize it. Oh no, but that's not what we're customizing. Phew, close call. So we'll customize to a telehandler for £100 and it is done. Now we can connect to it. And we... Can, okay, I need to get this Lamborghini out of the way. Bloody Lamborghini, always in the way. <laughs> Might try it in first person as well, actually. Do my loading in first person. I will be honest, sometimes if I hit the first person button, uh, it's an accident. It's completely on accident because I'm trying to hit either lower tool or fold tool or something like that, but... Yeah, it's just a funny I thought I'd share with you. Right, just get connected to this first bale. Should probably get them detached. No, 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 no. Oh, come on now. Cheeky bales. Don't be frightened. Right, there we are. So I will just put these in front of these other stack of three I've got going here. go these are all the the newest bales on the l right hand side yes so that's perfect that's a that's a fair fair collection really i mean it's not bad we did we didn't have 11 bales total from that last uh, harvest i think we had 30 harvest well yeah bale harvest i suppose we ended up having um oh hello 
I can't seem to extend out. Oh, that does that. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. I was trying to do this. Ooh, let's not do it too much. Don't need to do it at all, really. Right, yes, we got about 13 bales total uh, from that. Oh, hello. Pop, pop. They're just disappearing. One more to pop from our last hay uh, session we got. Uh, oh my goodness, all the different doors, and there we go. Just wanted to do that. Brilliant. Okay, now that that's done, we've got bales uh, of hay sorted. I don't know what their straw was like here, but that's fine. At least the bales are all put away. And now they should have about double. Brilliant. Now we'll head over to the beet pulp buy point. And we'll buy some beet pulp. See you down there. Alright, here is our beet pulp silo that we placed in the previous episode. Or the one before that, perhaps. Barley Springs just flying by. Right, we'll get underneath. And that should be... Right. Oh, blimey. So, I have made a mistake with this, yeah. Um, upgrading this trailer specifically to this capacity only allows it to hold silage. So that's, that's the mistake that I've made, that I've just, literally, I'm just finding out about as I'm doing it. Because, um, unfortunately, we can't put anything in there. So what we'll do then is we'll head back to the farm. We'll get it swapped over to the regular size. And uh, so be it. We'll, we'll come back and get more. The, uh, the thing is, we do eventually need a silage trailer. So it's not like it's for not. At least we all we have to do now is lease to own. Hopefully we can afford a lease to own on the forage equipment. Because um, that... I know I have the seed drill on forage as well. Or on, <laughs> on lease as well, blimey. But I wanted to, uh, to get that sorted straight away. Because I did say I was only going to do machines... Uh, like big machines like tractors and forage harvesters and harvesters and stuff on lease to own but I have done the seed drill the only other thing that I did lease to own I did pay back immediately so we might do that for the drill uh, but we'll see we'll see what happens I would like to do it for the forage harvester just to try something different just to try something different I know now that we're just about back here I might as well keep rambling on this because it is a subject I wanted to put forth and get some feedback on so you have the option with whole crop to mow it. Now there is a chance that I'll have the next episode recorded before this one is out but I've done some digging and looking into the manual and all that to find out exactly what the difference is and if you mow the crop, that the whole crop crop, if you mow it with a mower uh, and then swath it you get a crop swath if I'm not mistaken but if you forage it you get whole crop. Now they should both be exactly the same but in the guide and I'll read specifically what it says I do want to put this back to that but it does say specifically that whole crop uh, silage and crop so it says crop swath and whole crop can be tipped together in a bunker silo and then becomes whole crop so does it have to be crop sw swath with whole crop to become whole crop or can you use crop swath all on its own now, I'm still going to do uh, crop... Um, <laughs> I'm getting them all kerfuffled now. I am going to do whole crop because I've never done whole crop before. Um, but I've done loads and loads of mowing. So I think that's what we'll do. And uh, just for next time, it's good to know for future series or future, future times with this particular series. Who knows? Anyways, enough faffing. We'll see you back uh, at the beet pulp buy point. All right, we have returned, and we shall go through this part, not the actual silo itself, and brilliant. So we'll start filling it. It should be no more than 610 pounds. It might uh, change over time, but I'm not too certain if it does or not. Right, should take a moment. We'll see you when it's full. Brilliant, 618 misc pounds we've got 12,880 litres of beet pulp so this is going to go straight into the cow's trough now the only reason I'll keep them where they are for the time being uh, is because 
well there's no there was no food in their shed uh, but also we do have loads of slurry and mule so a few days or a month a couple of months without is fine it is fine because um, we've got loads and loads of it and we will have even more cows to produce even more slurry and manure uh, once they've actually accumulated some productivity percentage so right we'll get this dumped we'll see you at the farm all right get backed into here very very carefully Blimey, that was close. That was close. If the if the flatbed wasn't in the way, oh, it's pushed it pushed it out. Should empty before it hits. There we go. So now they should have quick maths seventy thousand, sixty thousand. Now I said it was quick, anyways. Right, that's brilliant. Um, now we can put this aside. Oh my goodness, we will tuck it actually away in here because the next time we'll be using it will probably be for the wheat field for our forage harvesting nope it's immediately right now we're gonna head to the shop <laughs> we're gonna head to the shop oh hang on a minute how many right I want to see how many things we need to fill it properly because it would be mineral feed I believe is the best option because it's a thousand pounds for 1050 and if I'm not mistaken, we can use that to feed them. We can use grain grist. We are growing canola for that reason. And also beet pellets. So let's have a quick, very quick look at the bags, bag options. So there is beet, beet pellets. 10, 40 pounds for a thousand. That's more expensive, isn't it? This is our cheapest option. Right, well, I will get six pallets of this. Uh, and we'll pick it up at the shop. So yeah, I'm gonna, I might as well just buy them right now. Do that. And then that should keep them somewhat. Oh, I don't know how many that was. It might have been five. But it's alright, we'll find out when we get there. But we'll fill up the trailer with what we have there. And uh, that saves us faffing loading and all that. We can just get it all uh, auto-tipped into the trailer. So we'll see you down at the shop. Right, so it turns out it was six. So that is brilliant. So we'll start loading that up now. Uh, this might take a few moments to do. Oh, blimey, it's going to take ages. Right, I will see you back at the farm with a 6,000 litres of uh, mineral feed. Alright, so I definitely meant 6,300 litres of mineral feed. Because uh, it was only 6,000 pounds for the lot. But well, only. It's still very expensive for a thing. But we don't have to feed him all that much. And we'll have loads of it in the form of canola when we do harvest that in the uh, summertime, most likely. Uh, right, as I was saying before, we can put the trailer away now, and uh, if we look at the... well, we can't actually until there's cows in there, but I suppose we could put the cows in straight away, but I've only just put them out to graze. We'll have a look at that actually before we do, because then we might just bring them all back in here and let them feast on that but if they can graze for another month at least for May that would be the best case scenario so 66,739 litres that's pretty good right and they were low on straw as well very low so we'll uh, let's look at this first right so they have enough oh that's gone down quite a bit I reckon that before the end of May they will be out of food there it's not good. It's not good. Um, let's venture down there very quickly. Hello, ladies. You all right? Yeah, all right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it looks like it's been har it has been harvested by them. So there's no more grass. That's not. That's not on. Um, I suppose that the they haven't. You know what needs to happen? Exactly. I will wait. Yes, I'm telling them right now. Uh, what's <laughs> what I'll do is I will put them back into the other shed once this number has reached its end. So it'll give it a month to actually replenish, a month or two. Um, perhaps I should do that now even, give it a chance to actually grow. But it does say that there is a bit left, so we'll wait till that goes. Because really, for the end of May, we don't have anything else on. We're not putting anything else into the ground. 
we have to wait for wheat in June to forage harvest. Barley might be August by the time it's ready, or July, um, to forage, of course. Canola we put in April, so it's likely going to be September, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose it will be September, won't it, for those ones. I don't think that mineral feed's going to last six months, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, anyways, I suppose that is all we'll do. Actually what I will do because there's nothing else on, let's have a look at the sales just while we're here. Bloody no, that would have been fantastic. Yeah, it's many hours on it though, but really that's that's frustrating a bit, but we couldn't lease it so it's fine. And the Merlot has been fantastic. Right, what we'll do is, hello there, hi, how you doing? Nice to see you as well. Right, what we'll do is I will fast forward the time a bit and see how quickly that food goes down. And then if it seems that by before the end of May or near the end of the month or the day, uh, we will transfer them over to the other pen just so they don't completely run out of food. And then at least they can keep producing uh, milk, manure and slurry. So I'll fast forward a bit, I'll do a quick jump cut and then we'll come back in a few hours, see where it's at. Right, so we've just hit 2 in the afternoon, so it's only 2 hours have passed, and their food is at 0 now. Not good at all. Uh, we, will <laughs> we will be bringing them back to the cow shed. I'm very grateful that I thought of bringing them here and then filling that up completely, so that is brilliant. Um, but they have produced a fair amount of milk as well. How is the milk stores? Uh, haven't really... Ch oh, right, because we sell it daily. So as the price increases, then uh, obviously we'll get more milk per amount. But the more cows we have, the more we produce. So happy days there. Right, from the farm to the cane, we need to select 10 of you. No, all of you. 40, 15, 19, 20. Brilliant, yeah, all of them. Oh, that's so much easier. Right, and how many of you? 10. And then 5 of you. Brilliant. Ooh, it's sad that they're not there but that's fine we'll head over to we'll just jump over here head back over to the shed very quickly put them in there and then at least they will have food now I am hoping that my lease to oh my goodness please don't lose my cows because this thing did disappear it's very fragile you have to be very careful it's very sensitive uh, it's probably a bit bouncy for it I reckon we might have to hop the fence here oh no yeah, it's a bit bouncy. We'll hop the fence. Uh, hop this one as well. <laughs> Sorry, barley. There we are. Barley, not barley. <laughs> okay. Animal dialogue. And we'll put all of you ladies back. All 20 of you. All 10 of you. And all 5 of you. Yes, now we can leave this somewhere to lose here instead. Um going to put it here because that seems safe actually this seems no this seems safe a sort of please just be normal there we are brilliant that is safe-ish fantastic you're right ladies okay now we can actually have a look at the store it's not storage but the food capacity blow me look at all that slurry productivity is zero it will increase look that's the most we've ever had absolutely fantastic unfortunately now we're out of base food roughage moisture food well not roughage is the only thing we do have so yeah we'll have to see how that goes right and then next month we'll deal with more of the uh, chickens as well so we will allow overcrowding just to let them sort of grow up um, because we want them to we want them to at least be somewhat sellable uh, by not selling them for zero pounds, because that would be no good. Right, well that's May uh, for Barley Spring for us today. This is the end of the episode. I reckon, yeah, I'm just trying to see what else do we need to do. I mean, I suppose we could slurry the fields, so that's something we might do, well, slurry these fields at the very least, our grass fields. Now let's just have a look at them. This one not going to bother because, uh, well, it's perfect already. But also, we are turning this into a yard at some point. Hey, I've just thought of an idea. 
<gasps> oh my god. That is something we are buying immediately. I'm sorry, this has been on my radar. This The reason I put it in this save game was to use it. And the fact that it's there means it's meant to be because the game felt bad that I didn't wait long enough for the JCB in the sale. But that... I will pull a loan for, there is no question. Although I could just get it on lease to own for cheaper and free. Well, not cheaper, but free. Hmm. I got very excited about that. Let's have a look at our bailer. Hello! It's worth pretty much the same. Oh, blimey. Well, that's a no, that's a given what we're going to do with that. Right, so we are going to lose a bale, unfortunately, out of that. But we are immediately going to get the Heston baler. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Right, uh, the episode might be a bit longer than usual now. I, I, I would have to check in the uh, post-production stages, as you say. Um, but we'll find out when, uh, when that time comes. And if, well, at least we have a very fantastic way of ending the episode with our brand new not brand new uh, Heston Baylor. The class has been fantastic, don't get me wrong, but a Heston Baylor is uh, exactly what I was hoping to upgrade to. Here's the opportunity. So it is the same size bales as well, but yeah. Unfortunately we'll lose that one, but um, yeah I don't think there's any other grass that we can really cut anyways if we were to to try and get that last bale out, but it's uh, a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the Heston Baylor. So we'll see you at the shop. Alright, so we have arrived at the shop as you can tell. And I will place the class baler in the loading area there. Detach immediately. I'm very excited about this as you can probably tell. Now I will be honest in saying that the class baler has been fantastic. There's nothing, nothing at all against this baler. It's been brilliant for us. Uh, it's the, although it's French, and uh, no, I'm only joking, and uh, it has been very nice. And there is a bloody bale in there, but the next person will get that bale, and I'm sure they'll enjoy it much more than us. Uh, so I will go over here. I will. Oh, blind! That's even better. Get in. Right? Should we repaint it? Oh, that's all we have, money-wise. It's not worth it. I don't know. Is it worth it? Mm, I suppose we'll find out. No, that's literally all of our money. 62, so it should go up to at least... I'm going to say seven, 70 if it was worth... Over 70, right? If it doesn't, I'll be very upset. Okay, that's fine. So we'll sell it for 71,507. That's pretty good. Now we can hop to the sales site. If it was gone, I would cry. No, we, uh, we are going to... We are going to do the BKTs. You're absolutely right. But which version of them? What does come with it? Right, if we're paying a premium for, for for them anyways, we might as well get the ones we like. I do like those ones, though. Probably will go for that. So, the Heston is the clear option here. We could go for the Massey Ferguson. Oh, we've got an old version as well. What's the difference? Oh, I see, just the way it opens up there. It's very cool. We've got the 4910 as well. Oh, that's nice. The New Holland. Oh, the New Holland New. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. The 190. The US version of the 190. The Challenger. Look at all these options. This is mental. All of them are brilliant, but the Heston has to be the one, right? What is the major difference, though, between the Heston... 4910 and the 4900. Maybe this was this like a different, a different area or something. We'll go with the original, and we're buying it, which means we can always make changes. Um, I will take the chances. I, I'll I'll leave everything off for now. No beacon. I would like a beacon on my. Yeah, standard beacons are fine. LED. Oh, fancy. Did we do stand? No, we kept standard on the. Uh, on our current tractor, so bale shoot. We'll do the shoot, yeah, that works. Wait, what's the. Mm. Yeah, the shoot is probably. Oh, that just tips them. No, that's fine like that. Silage additive, we'll do no for now because we may eventually. Uh, I'm not too certain, but I, we might in the future. Um, this we can just change to. 
135, go Heston, Baylor, and then we'll just put 490. Little tiny bit of customization, and we're buying it for 53,361. Fantastic. And we've made a profit, because I'm almost certain we were at. We've made a 10,000 pound profit, actually, off that. Uh, because we were at 9,000 some, so, and we got the baler we wanted. That is absolutely brilliant. This very well might be... Oh my goodness, what's happening? All of these mo uh, animations, I'm... That, that is amazing. Did you see that? That was brilliant. Right, this might actually be our thumbnail, so might have to get to work on that. <laughs> we shall see. Brilliant. Well, I will actually leave the episode here with our beautiful new baler in view, and yes, I'm clearly excited about using it. It's a shame we just did all that hay, but we'll do some more next time. Well, not next time, but the next time we do it, we'll be with the Heston. Very exciting. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. This episode has been a bit of, um, as I say, sort of a, a setup, getting things ready, uh, sorting things out on the farm sort of episode, and I hope you've liked it. It's a little bit different than the usual farm work sort of thing, and uh, if you did, cheeky thumbs up goes a long way for the channel really appreciate it and uh, as always please do take care and bye for now